Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Master. In this video, let's discuss about structural design. When you say the name structural design, you never do the structural design directly. There are few other subjects which you need to study before doing the structural design. What are all those subjects? That are structural analysis as well as strength of materials. So these are the main subjects which you need to study before doing the structural design. So in this video, let's discuss in brief what is structural analysis, how structural analysis is related to structural design, why we need to do the structural analysis before structural design. So these are very important thing which we'll never study in the academics. So let's discuss that in detail in this video. It is very important to know about the basics of what is happening in structural design. If you are a structural engineer, you should know what is structural design. Why do we need to do the structural design? Before learning what is structural design, let's just look into the concept of construction process. Whenever a client wanted to construct a building, first he has to go to the architect to finalize the architectural plan and it has to come to the structural engineer to finalize the structural drawings and then it will go to the contractor. The contractor will assign the site engineer to execute the work. The site engineer has to educate the labor to get the work done as per architectural and structural drawing. So here the major difference between architectural drawing and structural drawing is the architectural drawings are mainly responsible for how the building will look like from inside and outside. Whereas the structural drawings are mainly focused on skeletal aspect and stability of the building. Architectural is for aesthetic purpose like dimensions of the room everything will come in the architectural plan whereas the structural plan represents the skeleton of the structure like whether how many columns are required where we need to provide beam where we need to provide column how the load will get transferred so these and all will come under structural design so this is the major difference between architectural drawing and structural drawing so here the main role of the structural engineer has to design the structure to withstand the loads coming on the structure structure without any problem during its intended life. Now let's see what is structural design. It is the tool used to determine the safe and economical specification for a structure as per set of codes and standards. Generally, the lifetime of this RCC structure is 50 to 80 years, depending on the quality of construction and maintenance during its lifetime. Many loads are applied on the structure during the lifetime. As you know, the loads are dead load, live load, wind load, earthquake load and so on. So these loads are externally applied loads on the structure. So the structure has to withstand these loads during its lifetime without any damage to the structure. So what happens happens when the external loads are applied on the structure, there will be internal forces developed in the structural members. Structural members are called slab, beam, column and footing. So here, why do we need to do the structural analysis? You might have heard about this term structural analysis. What is structural analysis and why do we need to do this structural analysis? As I told you before, the external loads are applied on the structure during the lifetime. So we have to calculate those external loads. What are all the loads coming? on the structure and then we have to analyze the structure to find out the internal forces developed. So structural analysis is used to determine what kind of internal forces developed due to externally applied loads in each part of the structural elements. So first we have to arrive the loads and then we have to do the analysis, structural analysis. From the result of the structural analysis, we have to do the structural design. So without structural analysis, structural design cannot be be done. Let me explain you little more clear. When the external loads are applied on the structure, there will be a internal reactions. That internal reactions will create internal stresses. That internal stresses cause deformation of the structure. Deformation means the structure will change from its original position, move, move away from the original position. So in order to avoid this deformation, we have to pro provide proper structural members and we have to choose the quality of materials to resist the deformation developed due to these internal forces. So this is the major process which is happening in the structural analysis. So by using the result of the structural analysis, we have to do the structural design. From the analysis of 
the structure will come to know the internal forces developed in each of the structural members by doing the analysis of the structure so with that force we have to do the design and then we have to find out whether it is satisfying the codes and standards or not that means the permissible limit whether it is satisfying the permissible limit as per code or not the, from that we can decide what is the size of the structural member and what kind of reinforcement we need to provide everything will depend on the structural analysis result so let me tell you once again structural design is the tool to determine the safe and economical specifications for a structure as per set of codes and standards whereas structural analysis is used to determine what kind of internal forces developed due to externally applied load in each part of the structural elements so by using structural analysis results we have to design the structure consider a human body it has bones of different shapes and sizes all are connected with joints and it's functioning similarly if you take a structure there are structural members like beam column slab and footing all are connected with joint the main function of the structure is to carry the loads which is coming on the structure during its lifetime without any damage of the structure so how the human body is functioning like with the connection of bones of different shapes and sizes similarly the structure the main function of the structure is to resist the loads which is coming on the structure without any damage of the structure during the lifetime it is an iterative process of applying engineering mechanics and past experience to create a functional economic and safe structure strength safety stability serviceability durability and economy these are all the important factors of structural design now let's look into the overview of a structural design first we need to get the plan of a structure as i told you before plan of a structure is the architectural floor plans so whenever you get a floor plan you have to decide the structural system that means like whether you are going for a rcc structure or a steel structure what kind of structural system you are going to use if it is a rcc structure whether you are going to a conventional method or a rc wall system or flat slab system whatever the structural system you are going to use that you have to decide once the structural system is finalized then you have to assume the member size structural member sizes after that you have to apply the loads on the member after applying the load you have to do the analysis analysis can be done by using the softwares like stad or etabs after analysis you have to get the results uh, analysis results forces developed in the structural member you can uh, start designing the structural member manually or even you can design the member structural members using the software itself stad or etabs after that you have to check for the allowable limits whether it is allowable or not whatever the size of the member we have provided and whatever the reinforcement we had given so that is uh, allowable as per codes and standards or not that we need to check once it is satisfied then whatever the size of the member we have chosen is correct and we can just go ahead with that size and reinforcement if it is not satisfied then we have to revise the members and size and then again start the process again start doing all the process until you get the proper member size that means like it has to satisfy the codes and standards if it is less than that then it will become undersized and under reinforced if it is is more than the allowable limit or permissible limit then it will become oversized the member become oversized member and the reinforcement also it is over reinforced so we have to be careful while designing the structure it has to satisfy the codes and standards within the limit if it is under uh, designed then the member size is not capable of taking care of the load then what happens the structure will get damage so that should not happen safety and stability of the uh, structure will not be met over there but if it is over reinforced that will become uneconomical unnecessary we have to spend more cost on that uh, particular structural member so in order to avoid that we have to keep a standard that it has to satisfy the codes and standards it should not be under designed and at the same time it should not be over designed so this is the major process of the structural design i hope now you all have a clear idea about what is structural analysis and what is structural design what is the relation between structural analysis and structural design and why we need to do the structural analysis before doing the structural design so first we need to do the structural analysis and structural design and then structural detail this all together we call it as a complete structural design of a building so as a structural engineer you should know all the basic things from the beginning from the scratch till the end so if you want to learn 
a full set of course a complete set of course like starting from the beginning till the end for example how do we choose the initial size of the structural member and how do we analyze the structure what is the structural analysis how the shear force and bending moments are developed in the structural members what is force of resistance what is deflection these are all the very basic concept one structural engineer must know so these are all explained in a very detailed manner the course is available in the udemy platform if you want to enroll that course the link is given in the description box you can check that link and then you can enroll by the end of this course you will be able to analyze and design the rcc structure and handful software training on etaps is given important basic technical aspects in civil and structural and earthquake engineering has been explained basic technical concept of structural analysis also has been explained in effective utilization of is codes we have many is codes like is 4562000 is 1893 is 13920 is 16700 is 875 sp 16 design 8 sp 34 all the codes are explained in detail so i hope you all like this course please do check out i would always say whatever you are learning just learn from the scratch learn from the basics so if you have a very good foundation of basic then rest all things will be very easy for you so keep watching happy learning